Hello everyone, I'm Amanda and this is Big Empress Energy. I am here to do a love reading for all those concerned with Sagittarius. So you could have Sagittarius as your sun, moon, or rising signs. Um, your Venus could be in Sagittarius or just another important placement in your chart. Or you could be connected to a Sagittarius and in that case just be aware that you might have to switch the roles. Um, and if this resonates with you, please like and comment and share and subscribe. Um, it means so much to me. I have such a tiny channel and I notice every single like, comment, subscription. Like, I try to answer you all. It just, it means the world. Um, and I'm trying to grow my channel, so every little bit helps. All right. What can you tell me about Sagittarius's connection at this time? Okay, Sagittarius's connection. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah, those didn't flip, so I'm not going to take them. But we have um, pride. <laughs> so arrogance, ego, and stubborn. I was... I have morbid curiosity um, <laughs> regarding the person that came up in your last um, reading, Sagittarius. Um, but they, they just seem like such a toxic person. Um, and so I was kind of hoping that maybe we could get a new connection to come in for you, Sagittarius, but this is seeming like the same energy. Um, this person is, um, evasive. They like hide, um, they hide their motives. I get, um, I get that quite a bit and I get that they are just really um, arrogant. They are, you know, very ego driven. Um, yeah. And, and, and I get that they, they spy on you, Sagittarius, with this, uh, hidden face here. I just, I get that they really, they, they try to hide their motives. That's the strongest message coming in from spirit right now. Yeah. And, and I think they, um, I think if this is an ex, um, or just someone that you have known previously, I think that they pretend, um, to have this open heart to want to come in and, and, um, that they, that they're empathetic, maybe even an empath, you know, that I could even, a message that's coming in is I could even see this as someone who claims to be spiritual because you are Sagittarius and, and they claim to be high vibrational because you are Sagittarius. And I think that that isn't accurate. I think that they mostly run um, on ego. What else can you tell me about Sagittarius's person, please? Spirit guides and guardian angels. What else can you tell me about Sagittarius's person at this time? Yeah, I just. <laughs> they're very stubborn, too. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're a bad person. Um, but yeah, I could see that getting in the way of really connecting with other people. Only you. Yeah, I mean, they they only see you as the person that they're going to end up with. Like, Sagittarius, no one could convince this person that you aren't the love of their life, their soulmate. Um, and with this ego, you know, even if you don't want them to be the love of your life or your soulmate, if you don't view them that way, they don't care. They think they'll win you over, you know? Um, yeah. Yep. Yep. They're clinging to you. They don't want to let you go. And they really are spying. They really are spying on you. Um, if you have social media, they're checking that. If you have mutual friends, they're asking about you, Sagittarius. Um, if they know where you live, they're driving past your house to see if your car is there or if there's a car that they don't recognize. They, you know, they just, they want to know what you're up to. They, they, I, I feel with this, um, ego and this only you, I feel like they, um, they feel a bit of, um, whether this is subconscious or conscious, I feel like they kind of feel like they, they own you to a degree. What else can you tell me about this connection, please? Spirit guides and guardian angels. What else can you tell me about Sagittarius' connection, please? What else can you tell me about? Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, this definitely could have been an ex. Um, they could be a drinker. That's come... Spirit's giving me that. Um, and I get that they could have... Um, 
really fumbled this connection. Like they, they made bad choices. They didn't prioritize it. They came in in the night of wands, you know, very hot and cold, wishy-washy, um, not decisive. But I see now that they're realizing that that was a mistake. Um, I think they might've treated you like an option and not the only option. Um, well, what I can say now is, um, you know, I, I don't know this far into the cards, um, but I, what I can say now is that they see that you are the only option for them. Um, and if they did put you in a situation where they acted, where they kept their options open, they acted as if you were only one option of many, um, they're feeling very stupid for that. <laughs> um, now whether they're willing to admit that or not, I'm not sure because this ego could, I could see that stopping lots of, um, lots of honesty and lots of opening up and being vulnerable about your, their emotions. But, um, yeah, they are in so much pain. Um, they're scared that you're going to meet someone else because they are invested to a degree that it's literally only you that they have any interest in. Um, but they're, they're scared that you're going to find someone else. Um, I see them. Yeah, this, I think, I think their ego is, is hurt. Um, Sagittarius, because you, I don't think you're w with this person at this time. I think that there is a separation between the two of you. Um, and I think this person feels that. I feel like you have taken your energy back. And I think this person is feeling that em emptiness, that empty space where your energy used to be. Um, very interesting. I love that this only you is coming up in the center, though. Um, so they, I mean... If nothing else, they really, they really want you. They want to be loyal to only you. So that could be a good thing or a bad thing. It really depends on what you want, Sagittarius. Um, yeah, they, they literally think about you all day long. Like they fantasize about you. They daydream about you. They imagine the two of you together. I mean, look at this. This is the beach at sunset with, you know, that perfect couple. You know, they're just so deeply in love. That's the kind of thing that they fantasize about. They fantasize about having a family with you, about, um, you know, marrying you, if that's something you want, Sagittarius. They fantasize about asking you to marry them, you know, um, or vice versa. They, they just, they just... Uh, they, I get that they obsess to some degree over this. Um, and I think that they might be like, um, caught up in the delusion of that. Uh, and I think, I think, um, yeah. And I think the fact that they're realizing that that might not be what happens, there's a possibility that that might not happen, that you move on that is causing them intense pain and grief. What else can you tell me spirit, please? Of this connection. Ooh, releasing. Yeah, they are so afraid that you're moving on from them, that you're letting go. Oh, yeah. Again, with this couple at sunset, you know, we're not seeing any faces either. I think this person hides, they conceal their emotions. I think they hide how they feel. Um, but yeah, I think they're really afraid that you are going to let go and move on with someone else. Someone else is going to win your heart. That scares them so much. That's like what keeps them up at night. That's like this torture, this pain. Yeah. And I think that, I think, um, I think they're, okay, so you have conflict and conflicted. So I think this person really, um, regrets if you two had a falling out or like a really big argument or they made a really stupid mistake especially what I was picking up on here as treating you as an option one of many options when you were the only option when when they hid the fact that they only wanted you um or they didn't realize it until now it's weighing heavy on their mind that's what this pain is 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 um they, they feel like you feel as though that you're incompatible now. That's how they feel or they worry that you feel. Um, but this person isn't going to let go of you, Sagittarius. They, I mean, they have this uh, tiger here. They are not willing to let go of you. Yeah. Okay. Running. Okay. So you could be the runner, Sagittarius. Um, or um, you could have ghosted this person or I mean if if you don't want this connection with this person Sagittarius I see that um 
you know, they, they see it as you running away when in reality you wanted that distance, you wanted that space from them. But I could also see this as um, maybe they were the runner if this is a twin flame connection. I could see this as maybe they were the runner and that was the bad choice that they made. And now they're recognizing that that was all ego, that was fear of uh, rejection, you know? And they're realizing now what a mistake that was. And it's kind of eating them alive that um, you could be moving on from them. They don't really know. And I think that's part of why they keep tabs on you, part of why they check up on you. They want to know if you are moving on, you know, if you have met anyone. Because it causes them so much pain, whether their ego is willing to let them admit that or not. Look at this again. There's a lot of silhouettes here. Like I just, from that, I just get like that this person is maybe in the shadows, like they keep their emotions in the shadows, like the moon card, you know, there's a lot of mystery surrounding this person. They could even be like a secret admirer, you know? Um, and they feel as though this could be someone that you didn't even, um, get into a long-term connection with they were just one of your many choices Sagittarius and you you know and they are just incredibly stuck on you because they have this ego they can't they can't let you go they they want you they have their sights set on you um that's another message coming through but the main message that's coming through is this might be um an ex um and they're just not willing to let you go okay yeah, walked away, left out, cold. I mean, they could feel as though you're being cold to them. Um, we have cold here twice. Yeah, they could... Chasing underneath that. Yeah, running and chasing. That's... Yeah. Yeah, this could definitely be a twin flame connection. Or this person sees it as a twin flame connection. Um... But yeah, I think they feel now they're feeling that five of pentacles. I think they're feeling like you abandoned them or um, you've moved on, you know, and I think they're really afraid of that, whether they were the runner or or um, the chaser. You know, it doesn't really matter because those roles tend to flip in twin flame connections anyways. Once the chaser stops chasing, then the runner becomes the chaser and, you know, um, lessons are learned, the whole awesome fun little journey, you know, <laughs> but, um, but I just think that, woo, yeah, yeah, well, you have the infinity symbol here, this could definitely be a soulmate twin flame connection, definitely could be, another message that's coming through is if this person is a drinker, they could, you know, have been under the influence too much, and it caused a lot of issues, um, but they could have really put you in a third party situation. Um, they ran away from their deep feelings for you. They let their pride get in the way. Um, they tried to pretend that you weren't the only person they wanted. They tried to pretend like you were just one of many options. You know, that message came through earlier. And I just get that this person for, it's not going to be all of you, but for some of you, um, yeah, they, they acted like they didn't need you, you know, and they and they still wanted to keep their options open and pursue other connections. And they're realizing now how stupid that was. Um, that's coming through really strongly. And they could have still had attachments to other connections, like like karmic partners or um, maybe like an, you know, just like a like a, their ex-wife or ex-husband or um yeah, or f another message that's coming through is someone who's a friend, but there was always undertones of uh, romance there, and they were they kept that attachment going, you know, and that person, that outside influence eventually weighed on your connection. Um, or this person could have, like, addictions or um, an overbearing parent, a child or, or um, a child's mother or, ch or father, you know, um, it could be really anything could interfere. Too much work, those things. But this person let, they didn't protect the connection like they should have. They didn't treat it like only you. You know, they, they let outside influences play a part in your separation. And I see um, that their ego played a big role in that. I definitely see that. Okay. Wow. Yeah. But this person is regretting it, Sagittarius. Yeah, they feel like you're soulmates. Yes. Yeah, they're seeing it now, you know, they're seeing it now, but the, they let that ego play, 
play its part and then they couldn't admit it or maybe even like pursued other choices because they um they thought they were hot shit you know <laughs> like with the ego and the arrogance and the hot and cold i mean that's knight of wands like in and out wishy-washy uh I have options, I don't need this connection type of energy, but god, they only hurt themselves. They played themselves, Sagittarius. What else can you tell me about this connection, please, Spirit Guides and Guardian Angels? What else can you tell me about this connection? What else can you tell me about this connection? Yeah, and um, this person... Okay, here's another message that's coming through. And this isn't going to be for all of you, but for some reason Spirit is giving me this message. It might even be for one of you. I don't know. It's specific. But Spirit, my guides are telling me this. Um, is that this person could have substance issues. Could be alcohol or could be something else. And, you know, it would make them, like be in and out all the time and like indecisive and and run away and then come back that that message is coming in strong is that this person would like run away and then come back and just flip uh in their mind constantly flip-flop what they want you know indecisive like like um say they want a commitment and then they're like i don't want this commitment and just just very wishy-washy but they're i mean they're releasing that now i i see that they're it's it has caused them so much pain that they're recognizing that they have to make those changes yeah breaking point and here is they're 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 watching you they're watching your social media um but yeah they're they're um they're really overwhelmed with with this pain with this um what they did. I mean, because they hurt themselves. They played themselves. And if it was a third party situation, then that's, you know, then then they're overwhelmed. They're overwhelmed with regret either way, because they all I get from this is like guilt and regret. But I do see that their ego has probably stopped them, uh, maybe even up until now from admitting that or from coming forward and apologizing and trying to make amends. Um, but they're hitting that breaking point with with those emotions. They're going to have to express them at some point. And I think they're realizing that they can't be without you much longer um, because they're just feeling that absence. Yeah, but this person really does try to um, stay in the shadows, I think, um, and, and keep tabs on you. See what you're up to um, when they're not around, you know? Yeah. Yeah, this person could be jealous like a jealous person. I get that energy as well. Not for all of you, but yeah, and they want this new start with you. They want to try again. They want to try again. What else, please, Spirit, for this connection? For Sagittarius, please. What else? Ooh, there we go. Peace. Okay, this is a really nice card to to land on. They uh, to land on this last uh position this person um wow this is like you two like they feel like you balance it out it almost looks like an infinity symbol you know here um they feel like you balance them out um yeah you bring them peace this is almost like um temperance energy like they feel like the two of you balance each other out like there is just a base friendship between the two of you they they miss you, Sagittarius. They really miss you. Whether this person is toxic or not, I get that they might have been toxic when you two were in union. But God, do they miss you. And I, I do think that um, they want to heal. I don't think they have healed as much as they need to in order for you two to come back into union. But I get that they do want to heal. They want better for the two of you. They want a solid um, foundation. They want to try again. Yeah. And they want that. But, but you know, wanting something and doing something are two different things. They need to back up what they say with their actions. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, they, I mean, they're exhausted. Um, I have a long journey here. They really could be at a distance from you. But I get that they, um, they're so exhausted from just running. Running from like love running from their feelings it just doesn't work that way you can't just cover up your feelings and pretend you don't have them like and I do think that this person is beginning to recognize that but 
Yeah, they're they're so afraid that you're going to move on from them. They miss the the peace and the friendship that the two of you shared. You brought them a lot of peace. You made them feel balanced. Um, and I think they're feeling very unbalanced right now um, without you. Let's go ahead and clarify with Tarot. Spirit guides and guardian angels, what else can you tell me about Sagittarius' connection? Ooh. Queen of Wands. Okay, I think this is you, Sagittarius. Um, she's a very attractive, charming, fire sign woman. Um, she's intuitive. She has that black cat. And she has her connection to happiness, which is the sun. She sees things under the light of the sun. She, she has joy. She's happy. She, um, yeah, she, and she's just an attractive, independent woman. And um, male or female, this does not matter. This is an energy. And they just, I think that this person recognizes how attractive you are, how you attract others uh, with your energy, but also physical appearance I'm getting from this. I think they know that you are attractive physically and they are afraid. They are afraid that you are, I mean, you might have even already attracted other partners or you might get a lot of likes or comments on your social media and they're watching that. They're seeing that and, and it's causing them a great deal of pain. Yeah, they, they see how attractive you are, uh, Sagittarius. Yeah, they, they feel like this is a divinely um, guided connection. Whether you feel that way or not, I think they feel as though you are twin flame, soulmate, those kinds of things. Um, there's a soul tie here. I think they feel like there's a soul contract. What else can you tell me, please, Spirit, about this connection? You know what? This is going on only you. What else can you tell me about this connection, please, your guides and guardian angels? Yeah, you were just like the light of their life. Like, they just, they think about you all the time. They find you incredibly attractive. What else, please, your guides and guardian angels? Oops, I wouldn't want it to come out. What else can you show me about Sagittarius? Oh, the sun was peeking out there. <laughs> Yes. Oh my goodness. They want this 10 of pentacles with you. They want to grow old with you. They want like the house, the family, um, the dog, the cat, the white picket fence. They want those things with you. Yeah. They want this long-term stability. They want, um, they want to, to build a family with you is what I'm getting. I don't know if that's what you want Sagittarius, but I think they want to, um, they, they want this long-term commitment with you. But at the same time, it's what scares them. You know, it's what makes them run. Very interesting energy. Look at this. They might actually want to marry you. They might want to live with you, you know? Wow. Yeah, intemperance. What did I say? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. What else, please, spirit? Yeah, and I think that they almost feel like you're angelic or um, just so balanced. You're really balanced and peaceful to them. Like they, like they have a lot of craziness going on in their life, and I think they, um, yeah, and I, th I think they used to look to you for that comfort and that balance. And I think now that you've um, pulled your energy back, I think that they are feeling really unbalanced and and. Um, yeah, and just chaotic. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they want to come in real quick. They want to come in, they want to be honest with you, um, and they want to be decisive. They realize that treating you as, a, as an option and not um, the one, only you, um, they're realizing that that was a mistake, of course, and I think they want to come in and they want to be honest. Um, especially if there was like a third party situation, they want to come in and, and be honest and they want to cut any previous attachments, any karmic ties to anyone else that they had in their life. Um, but they, they're having breakthroughs about this connection without you. And I think they want to come in and show you that they have the actions to back up. They can be decisive. They can be, um, that divine feminine or that divine masculine. I think they really do want to show that to you. Okay, and, and this is that, you know, those realizations. 
I was picking up on. I think they're, they're yeah, they're just realizing that that it's, they can't continue to be without you. Now, this person also might not have come forward yet. They might not have opened up about those feelings yet because, you know, this is this man is suspended, you know, from, from you know, he's hanging upside down. So there's not a whole lot of movement going on in this card. You know, they want to come in, but um yeah, they might still just be like ruminating on it and in their head about it. Um you could also be dealing with a Pisces, Sagittarius. Um and then we have judgment. Which judgment is that it's that wake up call. It's that kind of um, light bulb moment. Similar energy here, uh, same similar energy here as well. But um, yeah, this person. Look at all the angels that were here. Like temperance came out, um, and here's an angel. Like they they feel like this is a divinely guided connection with a deeper purpose. I kind of feel that way too. Um, looking at these cards. But you might not feel that way, Sagittarius. But, um, yeah, I think this person um, is having, like, crazy wake-up calls right now um, in their life. But I also think that they just really want your forgiveness. They want um, that... They, I mean, this is a card of second chances. Like, um, this angel is bringing the dead back to life. Literally. Second chance. Um, and, I, and I think that's really what they want with you. Yeah. Yeah. They're in a lot of pain without you. Yep. And there's a queen of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Now that they could have had, um, that, you know, there could have been that third party. This could literally represent another person. But what I'm getting from it is that I think they're seeing, um, how like nurturing and compassionate you are. And another thing that kept coming through is that you're very down to earth. Like you're peaceful. You make them feel balanced and in harmony. And I just, I, they're missing that. They're missing that like nurturing, uh, comforting feeling you would give them Sagittarius. What else? Can, okay interesting okay so six of pentacles i don't think this person um was very reciprocal i think they um let their ego um you know they they would pretend that um you didn't matter as much as you did and i think this person you know the scales were unbalanced i think you probably gave more to the connection than this person did i think you probably were willing to try harder than this person was when you were in union before and this person is recognizing now that that was really unbalanced again with the balance like like you made this person feel very balanced and i think now they're realizing that that they're very unbalanced without you sagittarius um, and then we have the page of pentacles here and I think, um, yeah, I think this person, <clears throat> they're making a plan to come in and, and bring a message to you, honesty, you know, this ace of swords, they're making a plan to do that. Um, and then I think that they want to bring you something solid. Um, it might even literally be like a gift or, um, something to make up for, uh, the mistakes that they've made. But they want to come in with not just pretty words, but action to back it up is what I'm really getting from this page of pentacles. Um, also, you know, I, Spirit's giving me a message that you could share a child or um, there could be a child involved. And, you know, they, they um, that, you know, they, they just, they want to, if they're, if you do share a child or if they have a child or you have a child, they want to be that as well. They want to be that happy family, you know? Um, yeah, but that's, that's only going to apply to some of you, but I really do see that this person, um, wants to come in with actions to back up their words. Okay. Bottom of the deck is page of cups too. Um, yeah, they, I mean, they really, they, they need an apology. They need to give you an apology. <clears throat> they know that. They know that they have to apologize. Whatever it is they did really hurt you, Sagittarius. And, and they know that if they want a shot at a second chance with you and a shot at a happy family with someone that, that has plenty of options. Like you, you know, you are spoiled for choice, Sagittarius. Yeah, they, God, they want this new start with you. Wow, you, I'm, this is, um, Aries cards. So you could be dealing with an Aries, but I think that, um, I think that this message is coming through. I think they feel really stupid for their ego. They feel like the fool. 
<clears throat> but what I'm also getting from this is that they, they just want that new start with you so badly. They want to come in the right way, you know, and, and if they, if they haven't reached out yet, I think that's what this is about. Like they're trying to, um, uh, they're trying to like think, really think about it and, and, um, come up with a plan to come in and and prove to you that they can, that they're coming in in the right way this time yeah look at this two aces you know they want to come in and express how they feel um they want to speak correctly they want to um uh yeah they just want to um articulate that's the word i was looking for they want to articulate the way that they feel um and they want to use the right words. I get that maybe this person <clears throat> wouldn't think before they spoke sometimes. <clears throat> and maybe um, sometimes they'd say things that they didn't mean. And um, <clears throat> I think now they want to come in and express their emotions like in the right way, correctly. This person is really sorry, Sagittarius. They really want this second shot with you. One more card, please, for Sagittarius. Knight of Wands. <clears throat> yeah, that's that wishy-washy, indecisive behavior. Um, they could have even, like, played you or... Um, yeah, they, they, could, they were immature, I think, because you are this Queen of Wands, and they were really only a knight um, or a page. You know, they, 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 didn't, um, they didn't come correct. They didn't, like step into that divine masculine, divine feminine, or that king of wands to come and match your energy. And, and they realize that now. They realize that that indecision and that treating you like a choice is how they ended up without you. How they ended up um, not, having, not having you in their life anymore. They regret it. They definitely regret it, Sagittarius. Yeah. They think about it a lot. Yeah, and they're trying to manifest you back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They want, they want it. They want this, uh, house, kids, marriage, uh, whatever, you know, just a family, this, something solid. They want it with you. They want to give equally to the connection. They see your value now, I think, Sagittarius. I think their ego really got in the way. Um, and they're reflecting on that now. <sighs> But anyways, Sagittarius, um, I hope that this resonated with you. If it did, um, please like and uh, comment below. You can claim the reading that way. Um, or you could share it with, you know, if you feel inclined or subscribe to my channel. Um, yeah, I'm trying, I'm really trying to build um, a family here in a, in a bigger um, channel. I'm trying to expand. I just, I want to help um, give more messages from spirit. It just means so much to me. So um, hopefully this resonated with you, Sagittarius, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for being here.